Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about grip pattern using wrap command. So left side you can see the grip pa pattern so right side this is the wrap i'm going to use on this component see here this is the final component so we can use different uh, kinds of textures for gripping So this is how the flat surface looks like which is going to wrap on this cylindrical surface. So let's start now. I have taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file. Select the front plane, go to sketch, draw three point arc from the origin. draw one construction line joining these two end points select this line make it horizontal and the distance between this line and the center point is 2 3 1 and this radius is 2 4 2 So come out of this sketch, select the right plane, go to sketch, draw one circle from the origin. So this is a 64.5. Say ok. See there are two lines so go to features select swept boss select the profile and this path see here so in product design we can create any shape for aesthetics now select the top line go to sketch draw an ellipse so this is a 55.6 this is 84 This is 74.6 and select this origin and center point make it horizontal select these two points make it vertical so it is fully constrained now see here this is the line now select split line and select this face see here then select single direction see here this is the surface now select this face go to surface module select offset surface so here it should be 0 mm thick high thickness or depth say ok now 
see there is a surface created over here I am going to hide this solid solid body see here now select this surface go to thickened cut so thickened cut it is 2 mm and zoom and see the direction see if you click the other direction it is going to cut other side there, there is no material at all so we have to flip the other direction and say ok see this material has been removed now now select this face go to surface and select offset surface so this is also 0 mm it's nothing but copy surface so there is a new surface formed here see here now select the front plane go to features select split line so select intersection so wherever the front plane is intersecting it is going to create a split line so select this surface see there is a split line created here now go to surface module and uh, select surface flatten select these two surfaces see here these two faces and select this center line split line see here it is a reference so now I am going to hide this surface see here So, I am going to show this solid body. So, you can see here. Now, select this surface, go to thicken option and select 1 mm and say OK. Save. Thickness has been added. Now, select this face go to sketch we have to draw one line see from the center see here So now I am going to create this pattern for wrap command. So select this face, go to fill pattern. So we can select any pattern. So I am going to select perforation, so 10 mm. So angle I am going to keep 30 degrees and the margin is 1 mm and select the reference line which we have drawn earlier see here and create seed cut I am going to take this circle and 4 mm see here if I say ok it is going to create holes inside this so which is not required so here what we have to do is there is a option called auto fill see here so auto fill is not highlighting here after instances to skip because in thicken feature 
we have to uncheck this merge results so we have to remember this so now i am going to edit see i have to uncheck autofill and select this top face it is going to select thicken feature and say okay see here it is not creating holes in this body now what we have to do is we have to create one sketch so select this face go to sketch and here select convert entities select and select this face and here left side you can see select all inner loops select this so it's going to select all the whole loops so it is going to convert all the holes so select this uh, sketch go to feature select this wrap so it is selected this sketch and uh, in wrap type we have to select emboss and wrap method spline surface and i have taken as 1 mm thickness and uh, the surface we need to select this so it is automatically projecting on this see here so you can project on, on any kind of surface see here now i am going to hide this see here so i'm going to hide these sketches also see so we can create any kind of pattern we can use this kind of pattern for gripping handles so this is a brief about creating grip pattern using wrap command thanks for watching